I want you about to learn how to edit the videos on your mobile phones like a professional. So hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channels. And if you already subscribed my channel, please don't forget to hit the notifications so that you'll notify in the future. So you heard it right. Yes, we can edit uh, videos on our phones like a professionals without using any watermark. So, Edit Premiere Rush is all-in-one cross-platform video app which allows you to edit, share your video quickly and easily from our smartphones, tablets, or computer. And the power of this app is you can edit, color correct, record in cleanup audios, customize animated titles in graphics within this app, and we can share on many social platforms all in one tool. So in this video, we're gonna do a full tutorial and a walkthrough on step by step on how exactly you can edit a videos like a professional using Adobe Premiere Rush. So let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Rush and this is the first landing page when we open the app for the first time. So let's create a new project. Click on this plus button from the buttons and we can add a media into our project from our devices or we can capture photos or videos directly from our inbuilt camera. Select add media from your device and you can select media from your camera roll but I'll use sample video from app to quick start. You can select any number of medias you want to add on your project and let's give a name of the project and click on create. So this is the main interface. From the bottom left, we see the first icon. It allows you to add more media files, titles or voiceovers. And the second icon will take you to the project asset panels. And the third icon is used to enable or disable tracks. And the fourth icon will allow you to switch between poetry, landscape, and square. So let's edit this video. First, let's add the title. And the one thing I really like about this app is it has many inbuilt motion titles, which we can easily customize it. There are more than 30 free motion graphics are available to use. Click on the title and select any motion titles you want to add and select title from the timeline. Double type and rename the title as desired. You can reposition the title at the top or starting part of the video just by using track and drop. Now let's play this video and we can see how easily we can animate the title like a professional. Now the next part, let's add a transaction effect between the two clips. Click on the transactions and select drag and drop gross dissolve between the two clips and you can adjust the durations of the transactions. And the great features of Adobe Rush is we can easily color create our footage from scratch or you can use inbuilt color presets. Not only that, it will allow you to create your own presets. So to start color correcting, let's click on color and I'll choose a few settings to make this video looks more vibrant. So let's bring down the exposure levels and increase the contrast and I'll add some highlights, decrease shadow and add some temperature tint, vibrance and even saturation to look even more saturated. Now we can see it looks better so let's just create a color preset so that we can use in the future. So give a name of the preset and click save. Now the next part, let's learn how to use stream tool. So select the video page to stretch the video and click on the scissor tool to trim or cut your video. You can even delete a part of a clip by selecting the clip and clicking on the trash icon. You can even control the speed of the video by clicking on speed and you can increase or decrease the speed rate to make it slow more or to speed off your video. You can use transform options to two group scale or repositions of your clip. So click on crop top to crop the top and crop bottoms to crop the bottom parts. Now this looks even more cinematic and we can even adjust the vertical and horizontal positions just by adjusting the value of V positions and H positions. Lastly, we can use soundtrack by clicking on add media and go to rush soundtrack or you can even use your own media. 
So let's select one and click add sound to our project. You can even control the volumes of the track just by clicking on the audio. So that's it and now let's click on the export icon at the right top and you can even change the settings of the outputs. Once you are done with that, just click export to finally finish your project. So I hope you like this video and that's all for this tutorial video and I'm planning to bring more tutorials in the future. So if you do like this video, please consider subscribing, share this video and I'll see you all in my next video.